Hey, this is Craig from the Craig and Greg Show. Um, you know, uh, I think probably our favorite sport uh, is probably football. Yeah. yeah. And um, regardless of how you feel about some of these different players, I'm just going to pick on Tom Brady just because of his longevity. You know, as good as he is on the field, I notice something. As soon as he comes over on the sideline and sits down, he has a coach that sits next to him mm -hmm. and pulls out an iPad and starts showing him things, things that he – couldn't see on the field because this coach has got a camera mm -hmm. angle from a totally different perspective and saying, hey, Tom, look at this, look at this, look at this. And I think that that's the value that we want to try to give to people in our coaching huddles. Mm -hmm. Talk about what, what uh, we can do with people as we coach them. So, Craig, it's, sports is a great analogy. Maybe not for everyone, but it, it's, it's pretty commonplace. Uh, and I've coached in sports. I've coached high school sports for 21 years. And it's so fun to see uh, a, a boy come in at ninth grade, you know, kind of not very muscular, maybe no hair in his legs, whatever it is. And in four years, you're like, where did that stud muffin come from? My goodness, he's huge. Yeah. And I love that about our journey as coaches. We get to see someone, they could be a, a beginner, like a, an emerging leader. They could be an existing leader. They could be an experienced leader who needs kind of a shot in the arm. And I think coaching for the huddle candidates, please please catch, check with us because I think the uh, you can find us on Twitter and MaximizeLeadership.com, but I think the real goal of us in leadership is getting you ready for leadership. So it's preparation, what to anticipate, kind of the pregame. Mm -hmm. And then the game, when you're in it, like presently, there's things that come at you mm -hmm. and you need someone to kind of bounce it off or there's a huddle of other leaders who either are going to go through it or went through it. I think the other aspect about coaching that really is enjo enjoyable, enjoyable for you and I is the aspect of recovering. So uh, downsized, mm -hmm. um, maybe a health issue, um, maybe aging out of being able to stay at that pace of a really busy, you know, really fast paced company. So it's ready, present and recovery. And we have a ball, Craig, you know, yep. coaching people and their stories are amazing. Yep. And we're not trying to make people robots. We're actually trying to draw out of yes. every single one what God put in there. Yes. That's my definition, your definition of coaching. It isn't about making you something. It's bringing out what you already are. Yes. And I love that about the coaching challenge. So we, we would love to coach. And uh, it's kind of our innate, right? Whether you're a pastor or a sports coach or you're a leader who's developing people, uh, it's it's just a privilege to walk alongside people. Absolutely. So yeah. just if you go to MaximizeLeadership.com, we have a link on there that is about our coaching huddles. And if you've got any questions or you wonder how it works a little bit more, just fill out the form on there and then we'll get back to you and we can talk specifics about uh, how we can coach you. Uh, whether you're at the beginning, whether you're uh, making a halftime adjustment, or whether the uh, the game is the first game is over, you're getting ready for the next game, and we're going to help debrief and get you ready for the next phase. Uh, we want to uh, huddle up with you and help you through that time. Check it out.